The Executive Director of the Economic and Organized Crime Office, EO COCOP Mamea Atiwa Adodankwa, has expressed the need for the business community to desist from concealing their financial returns as a means of staying away from paying their taxes to the state, a move she says affects the socioeconomic development of the country. She made this call during a brief ceremony in Techiman to inaugurate the Bono East Regional Office of EOCO. Correspondent Anna Sabit has more. Speaking at a brief but colorful ceremony to inaugurate the Bono East Regional Office of the Economic and Organized Crime Office in Techiman, mm -hmm. Executive Director of the Office, Commissioner of Police Mahamitiwa Adudankwa, emphasized that part of the mandate of IOKO is to ensure that taxes are paid to help generate revenue for the development of the country. Carry the business community that we are obligated to pay our taxes and let us all always remember that little dose of taxes makes a mighty nation so the point is that other countries have made it because of taxes and we should also do it we shouldn't always be concealing things from the tax man so that whatever that we have to pay we have to pay that she noted that taxes are essential to the day-to-day -day running of the state and as such the business community should pay their taxes to enable the government provide the needed amenities to the people. You should also remember that you as a businessman, you cannot construct your own road, you cannot build your own hospital, you cannot construct your own terminal or anything. It is the taxes that government gets, that is what they use. The government uses to provide all this kind of amenities for all of us. So we must ensure that we pay what we are obligated to pay and we should not hide anything from the tax man and we should all be good citizens of the nation. Bono East Regional Director of Iyoko Bobone Tony, on his part, reiterated the need for a collective effort towards combating corruption as a means of ending the menace. Nanache, it is when we get rid of corrupt elements among us that the society can progress and the country also prosper. Let us always be aware of the evil called corruption and do our best to support the Yoko office as an anti-corruption institution to combat corruption in this very region. He also appealed to government to help provide the needed resources to the office to enable it combat suspected crimes within the area. I wish to make a passionate appeal to the executive director of Yoko to resource the office with the needed logistics to facilitate the investigation of cases suspected financial crime in the region and liaise with appropriate appropriate agencies for possible uh, prosecution. The new office will also help offices of IOKO to be able to prevent and detect organized crimes as well as facilitate the confiscation of the proceeds of crime as provided in the IOKO Act. Anna Sabet, Joy News, Teaching.